I have no idea why it always starts me up in French every single time that I do that. None whatsoever. Let's make sure the controller is set up for classic. There we go. And let's load in the game here. There. We go. Boom. All right. Now, y'all may be wondering why I played the introduction there. Um, just a little bit of, of deja vu going on. Number one, um, every time I start this game up, every single time I start the game up, I always watch through the introduction, the title screen there, because I love the music. Um, I, I just love that song. I like the little intro thing, the little jazzy song and all that. And it just, it just gets me in the GTA mood. And I've done that ever since I first played it back, what, 15, 16, however many years ago when I first played it on my PC and the, the, uh, uh PlayStation. Always did then too, because I always loved the music. I always loved that little tune that it plays. So I would always let it play through the play, play through the little introductory title sequence there because I like the music and all so much. So I just thought I would I would play it again to uh, to show y'all what I do every single time I start up the game. And secondly, because y'all may find my me starting this over at some point and going, hey guys, there's this game called GTA 3. Why don't we play it and let's see how far we can get. Because I'm discovering that I'm quite likely to do that. <laughs> Y'all remember the recent episode I had where I think it's the episode maybe 41 where I say uh, how to build up a good Kenji hate is the title of the episode. Well, um, I do that because he has me doing the mission Smackdown. It's the last mission that you do for Kenji before he disappears off the board. And he tells you that you know, you have failed you have failed to, to start a war between the the Yardies and the Colombians and that your honor demands that you drive around and kill all the Yardie smack dealers on the street. And you remember we had to drive all around town and kill eight Yardies before they all got off the street and managed to wander on out. Well You'll remember I talked about in that mission how many times it took. It literally took me about 13, 14 attempts before I got that. Yeah, you know, I showed you my first attempt, and I showed you my 13th or 14th attempt where I completed it. And I'd completed it once before, the attempt right before it, and then my game had crashed. You know, but I got real good at running down Yardies, number one, and real good at driving and had gotten some really good spawns. The spawns had started appearing around close by the park and all, so I was able to run them over. I mentioned that. Well, I've been doing a rewatch through the series here, and I've just gotten up to, I think, episode 32 is, I think, the name of it, or the episode number of it. It's called uh, Double Play, because I think I finished two missions. I called it Double Play, I believe, because I, I finished uh, two missions during that particular episode. And the second one was Smackdown, where I'm running around for Kenji and driving over the Smack Dealing Yardies to get my honor back after failing to start a war between the... Yardies and the Colombians and I finished it on the first try ran over eight or nine Yardies smack dealers on the very first try I have no memory of having finished that and recorded it and uploading it for y'all I had no memory of having done that already a B I have no idea why I was playing from the last save which was two years ago um, and it was almost exactly two years ago that I finished that particular mission as well. And I have no memory of having completed it. I have no idea whatsoever why that save still had that Kenji mission on there. I don't know if I... I mean, I obviously saved after it because I put it up and we continued on. So I don't know why that mission was still showing up on uh, Kenji's stuff over there. No clue whatsoever why his mission was still up there. So that's the game's fault more than mine. And, uh, see, this kind of thing's been happening to me a lot more often. It's, it's because of the whole, um, 
spend two years waiting to play a game, uh, finish up a game. Uh, I was talking to Mind Fiend the other night, uh, or I left a message for Mind Fiend. I, uh, my, one of my latest episodes, I think 41 or 42, I'm sitting there and I, I got a, a Yardy Lobo car and I'm demonstrating how the hydraulics can make it bounce up and down and how fun that is and how happy it makes me feel just to drive down the road bouncing it. Well, in episode 31, back over two years ago, I do the same thing. I'm laughing and chortling as I'm driving down the road in a Yardy car, bouncing it up and down and talking about how fun it is to bounce the hydraulics. So, so yeah, don't uh, just, just expect at any moment that I could, uh, one of these episodes, I could say, hey, we're going to start playing Grand Theft Auto 3. I think y'all are going to enjoy it. The other thing that could happen is, while I'm doing this watch through, I could find out that in episode 35, I finished the entire game and just don't remember it. So, I'll let y'all know how that turns out. Let's get back on to doing our missions here, shall we? Yeah, I'm gonna go get a really strong cup of coffee now, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright everyone, welcome back to Liberty City. Hope y'all were at least amused by my little nostalgia introduction there, my mea culpa. Oh lord, I don't know what's going on. I guess you got to... I mean, one, it's not entirely my fault. Because the game should have remembered that I, I don't know why the particular save game I was playing from, it was the latest save game I had... Why Kenji still showed up as a boss there with that particular mission, I don't know. I have no idea, so it's not entirely my fault. The other part of it being is that it's, it has been two years. That mission, I, that particular episode I uploaded in July 20th of 2015, so it's been two years since I played that. And I completed it on the first try the first damn try I completed it so I guess I just didn't have any memory of it being a particularly hard mission um, not nearly as hard as the, the like the, the 12 or 13 times it took me to, to finish it this last time you know counting the fact that I had to finish it twice because the computer crashed on me the first time after the first time up here this little alcove here just wanted to be sure, because the computer crashed on me the first time, so I, you know, I can't can't really be held responsible for having that. I actually finished it twice this time around, but once again, it's just good spawns. You go back and look at that episode. I think it's episode maybe 31 or 32. It's called Double Play, I think it is. And you watch it, I finish it on the first time, and I'm getting great spawns. Um, several spawn around the park, and every time I kill one, the respawns are real close to me, so I can go and hit them instead of, you know, the respawn being halfway across the island and, and running out of time. So it really is, it really is got some luck dependent to it as well. Can't promise anything like that ain't going to happen again, but uh, I will let you know when it does. Let's go on in and see what Mr. Love has for us here, shall we? In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. All right, get a boat and follow the pl And it's timed. Oh, crap. All right, get a boat. That must be the red dot. And follow the plane. That's the yellow dot. And we got two minutes to do it. Damn. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Crap, crap, crap. Just what I need, another damn time mission. Uh, that was, of course, the elderly Chinese gentleman there. Um, that was doing Tai Chi with uh, Mr. Love. Okay, boat, 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 boat. Get a boat. Get a boat, get a boat. We're gonna get a boat. 
Um, I have no idea where I'm going here. It looks like... It looks like maybe on the other island? Yes? No? Yes, yes, it's still going forward, so hopefully, yeah, here we are at the dock, so we're still going. we got a minute. Come on, come on, come on. we got a minute. We're crossing the Callahan. Okay, so it's wanting us to take the boat over here, the one that we used to get over here to the island in the first place, perhaps. Okay, okay. Well, let's see if we can get there. 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get over here. Let's get over here to the slip. This is the one where we came over the island, you know, Maria and, uh, with Maria and Asuka whenever we were escaping from the... Oh, don't roll it. Don't roll it. Don't. Oh, come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, here comes the plane. Here comes the plane. All right, there's the yellow plane. Plane is now in range. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, okay. The plane has dropped one of six packages. Okay, let's try if we can get into it. All right, where are the packages at? Where are the packages? Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Three of six. Is this them? Whoop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not the easiest to steer. My God, could I have... I collected one. Here's the next one. Let's drop six packages, huh? Okay, that's two. Where did the plane go? Okay, there's a flashing one. All right, we have any kind of time to do this? Nope. What? Wait. Why have we got a police ra three stars? Wait a second. Let's pick this one up. What happened? Four stars? You are effing joking me. You are joking. Five. Star Am I going to get a six star rating? No, 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 no. Is that a boat? Is that a boat? I have got a six star rating. Oh my god! You have all the packages. Take them back to Donald Love. Oh my god. Um. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's get back on Staunton. Let's get back on Staunton here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Can we get out of here? Come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, they can. Woo! All right, run, 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 run. Oh my god, I got a five star rating. 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 Um. Good God. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Good God. Um, whatever you do, don't jump out. Don't jump out. Don't jump out. Um, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's an FBI car. Oh, my God. That is... Hey, 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 hey. I got an idea. I got an idea. Hang on, hang on. That isn't... Uh, yeah, that's an FBI car. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Y'all get out of my way. Y'all get out of my way. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get up here. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was so afraid, number one, that I was going to explode there. Oh, I was terrified that I was going to explode. Did the FBI go away? Oh, my God. So I've got all six packages. Can I get their car? Will you all let me take your car? If I stop, do y'all get out? Yes, y'all do. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's so cool. Alrighty, that's an FBI car. I stole this because 
Remember the emergency vehicle pickup over yonder? The the one? I've never had an FBI car before. Um, and I don't know how to get them. So, yeah. I can turn, I bet they'll take it over there. Um, you know, we've turned in a police car. We've turned in, an, I think, an ambulance. I've turned in a SWAT car. You know, the big SWAT van. I have turned in the fire truck. And I'll bet an FBI car. I'm really sure that an FBI car is on that list, too. All right. So we will take this back over there and see if they accept that. Oh, okay. Let's hope now. It's please don't disappear. Please don't disappear. I might should have gone and locked it up first. I don't think I, I don't know if I can. I bet it, I wonder if it, mission passed 10,000. Yes. All right, let's go get it. Let's go get it right quick. I am gonna run it over. I'm gonna run it back to my safe house. Let's go. Yes, let's run it to my safe house. I'm gonna save this up. Oh my God. That was a crazy mission. I'm just, oh, I'm just so happy that 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 timer seems to be when the plane started dropping, when it started dropping passage, uh, packages, not the timer that I had to get, get in the boat by. That's what I was so, oh, I was so afraid that we were gonna lose that. It's like not another time mission. Good, okay, I can accept that timer because that timer is a countdown to something that's gonna happen. That timer is not some arbitrary number that, okay, you're gonna lose the mission now because you weren't in position X at X time. Can I get in here? Is there anything else? Yes, that's right, I took my Idaho out to get out, didn't I? All right, let's go grab us some more weapons. Oh, wow. Y'all don't know how happy that makes me feel. That's what, two missions now that I've completed on the first try? That just feels so weird after having all that, after having that, that whole thing with the, the spank dealers. That just feels so weird being able to actually have finished a mission like that. Wow. Okay, I am gonna go grab my FBI car here. As much as I would love to uh, keep it, and look at that, they actually call it FBI. They don't call it FIB. As you know, in later games, they call the FBI the F FIB. So, hmm, of course they, they don't capitalize all of them, but they, they call it that. All right, I'm gonna head back to the bridge, and once I get back over to Portland Docks, we will see whether or not they accept this, whether that's one of the ones that I need to drop off. So I will see you when we get back over there. Okay, everyone, we follow this cop car back over here to the docks. Oh, I wish I could keep this. I've never had an FBI car before, the FIB car. It would be great to keep it, but we've at least found out how you get them. You get a five-star rating, and it shouldn't be too terribly hard to get a five-star rating. I figure, you know, find an intersection somewhere and, and uh, just start mowing down all the cops as they come towards you, the hand grenades and that kind of stuff, you should be able to get a five-star rating. Um, at six-star, because I know the later, I think GTA 4 and GTA 5 only go to five-star. At a, a six-star rating, which you can get in this game, whoa. So yeah, so that's it right there. Well, it's moving. At a six-star, wow, that's weird. Okay, at a six star rating, um, so that so that thing does move. So the, the, do you see the magnet moving over my head? So these magnets do move as the cranes move, awesome. But at a six star rating in this game, the army shows up. That's whenever you start getting tanks on the ground. And the closest thing to that is when, uh, I guess in GTA 5, whenever you go to whatever the military base is, Fort or Zanaku or Zeroku or whatever the name of it is and and uh, the tank on the base starts firing at you let's see will they accept that one they will all right I thought we needed one of these this is the 
you know, right over there is the import export where you steal the cars. You remember here is the import export where you had drop off the emergency vehicles. And I know we've dropped off. I uh, showed you on camera where we put a fire truck on board the ship before. So that's the FBI car. That is definitely the hardest one unless they want a tank. And if they want a tank, well, they're just SOL, you know. Let's see if that sucker goes on down in there now. Does it give me any kind of message? Does it give me any kind of reward? Let's take a look and see. Go on down. Yep. Nice one. Here's your 1500. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Great, great, great. Let's come on over here. And yep. All we've got left here is to deliver the dodo. All right. I am going to head to my, go over here to steal my trusty Karuma. And we are going to go back to the safe house. All right, folks. I am glad y'all got to see that. That was fun. That was fun. And you add to it. Is this one going to be alarmed? Yes, it's going to be alarmed. An alarmed Karuma, just like coming home. <laughs> I'm going to go save up. Can't believe I got another one done on the first try. And we will see y'all next time. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.